Hello everyone, today we're talking about how you can update or change your global fonts within the our latest product called Good. Now Good is one of our products that we've created and we've totally changed our design approach to include a more warm and aesthetic or more inviting approach or look and feel with our UI. And I feel that this is a great option or a great extension or design element or design approach for any dashboard available within today's modern day market. So let's get right into it. So first thing we need to do is again, we need to purchase and download. Good. To do that, we can just go to Bootstrap's marketplace, which is themes.getbootstrap.com. Scroll down to the popular, scroll down a little bit more and we find good right here. Click on that and you see this page and you can just go ahead and purchase it. Once you've purchased it, you can just go ahead and download and unpack the file and it should look something like, like this. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to change uh, the fonts, right? So first we need to, of course, find the font that we want to change to. So you can find fonts in a lot of places. The best place at the moment will be just Google fonts. And then from here, you can just select any font you want, add a Roboto or something else. So select the font you want and you just get the link for it so like for example if i click on this and let's see on on this and this and this for example and then this is the link for me to download it download to the link to my project so let's go back to the folder or rather go back to our ide so now we want to change that so first we need to go to our theme go to this go to our html this is just an example what you guys should do is you should do this within your project itself and use good as a companion app to just refer on the layout or the design or components or widgets that you like to use for your project but this is just very quick an example on how you can change your fonts so what you need to do is we just need to change this link to the the new fonts link that you are using and once you've done that you need to go to the source you go to sas and you want to go to i think will be component and scroll all the way down to variables and then we need to look for font family and this is the fonts that we, be, that we are using so we need to copy this variable and put it into the custom sas variable now for more information on how you can actually extend our sas framework or sas files there'll be another video on that so links to that video will be in the description below as well. So we can do this and just copy and paste the thing here and then change this font name to the font that you're using. For example, if you're using Roboto, you put in Roboto like as such. So once you've done that, you save it. Once you save it, build it, deploy the asset, the new asset and refresh your project and it should be running on the new font. So yep, so that's it for this video. I hope you find this video informative. If you did, just give us a like. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel so the next time we release a new video, you get an update. Please follow us on our social medias, Twitter or Facebook. Links will be in the description below and I see you guys in the next video. Take care.